Hello, welcome to another my tube. I know, I know, I said I would attempt to do more of these videos, video podcasts, or whatever you want to call it. I know, and I missed what three weeks of it. But I'm a busy man, right? I work for a living. I have a child. Not gonna bore you with that, okay? So today, I got some news to share with my subscribers of the main channel, Des. If, if any of you actually subscribe to my blog channel, I announced this news several weeks ago when we first found out. So let me break the news for the first time on this channel, right? So on this channel is news because I'm assuming most people do not subscribe to my other channels, right? Let's assume that. So it's news to those on this channel, right? The news I want to share with you all is, are you ready? We're having our second child. Child number two is coming in 2024. I don't have a trailer for you all or anything of that nature. But we are having our second baby this year in 2024. In about eight months, seven to eight months. Uh, late July early August around that time frame um, at the moment we don't know the gender when we do I'll let the family know first once the parents and the the siblings are aware once we share the news with them then I'll share it with the fan base um, if you were around when I was about to be a father the first time before my daughter was born and if you've been here ever since thank you right you knew you knew how much preparation you saw right if you were here before my daughter was born and you saw how much preparation it took to get ready for my firstborn then you'll see the same thing it's gonna be a lot Maybe it's easier because I already went through the experience before, right? And I already know how to be a father. But still, I, I'm assuming it's going to have its own challenges, right? As we get closer to the birth. And I'll talk about stuff more, right? And I'll share other details. So subscribe to the vlog channel if you're interested in seeing you know, as we get closer, what items or stuff we'll buy for the new child coming up in a couple of months. So, go to Des Blogs. It'll be in the description of this video. So, it's easier for y'all to find. And if I blog about new items for the upcoming child, it'll be on that channel. Because that's the blogging channel now. In case you missed it. It's been around for over a year, that channel. And that's why vlogs stopped on this main channel. Because this channel is now the entertainment channel. Where you do random entertaining videos, right? So I just want to share that news for you. Um, so we'll see what it is when we find out what gender. Like I said, I'll reveal it here right after sharing um, the info updated with the family. So how was my Christmas, you may be wondering. You, you might have seen a bit of it if you're subscribed to the vlog channel. You might have seen a little bit of my Christmas. And I say you might have seen a little bit of the Christmas there on the vlog channel. Des Vlogs is the name of the channel once again if you want to find it. You might have seen a little bit of uh, the Christmas because obviously I'm not going to record the entire thing. Because it's not a family um, thing, it's not a family channel, it's not a family vlog thing. It's only from my perspective, so there's a whole lot 
um, that you don't see that goes on in between stuff, right? So, wow, I did spend a lot of hours working the Christmas Eve, the 24th of December. Once I got home, you didn't see any, I didn't vlog anything, but we did spend some family time together. We went out as a family to go drive around the neighborhoods and even far neighborhoods from here. Check out the lighting Christmas trees of houses just for our own enjoyment. And we spent time together discussing it and, and, and talking about stuff and it was just witnessing the lights, right, as a family. So that was a entertaining thing to do again. That was not on the video because that's a lot. Uh, I wanted to spend time with the wife and daughter, right? So you didn't get that on the channel. Um, and Christmas Day, the twenty fifth. Again, I worked also for twelve hours, just like the day before. Got home. Um, well, no, actually, the 25th, I, I didn't work 12 hours. The, it's a mistake there, I said. Um, but I, I did work about five, five and a half hours. Um, yeah, I got out early, as I mentioned in the vlog earlier, didn't expect it. So anyways, on Christmas Day, the 25th, after coming home, um, we did open gifts, as you saw. Uh, of course, you didn't see when my wife opened her stuff and you didn't see the daughter open because that's more personal, right? That's not for you guys to see, I'm sorry, but you know, it's private stuff. Um, Cause that thing from the child's perspective, you know, she might not want you to see, you know, when she's grown or when she's a teenager or an adult even, she, she might be like, really guys? You were showing these people me as a child, like, they might not want it out there, right? That, right? that can affect their future. Um, so, yeah, because th they don't get to decide. I'm, I'm what the channel's about. It's, it's, it's not them. Anyways, so that's what we did. And then my dad and stepmom, as I mentioned in the vlog, did come by for a short time, about 10 minutes maybe, to drop off a gift for our daughter, their grandchild. So, Christmas overall, the 25th and 24th together, was fairly celebrated. Like, it wasn't too much hoopla, right? It wasn't too much fun fair and everything, but it, it was nice. It was decent, well, not decent, it's like you're saying, oh, it was saying great. It was good. It's just saying it wasn't that, like, it wasn't a crowded, that's what I'm trying to say. But it was still good. Christmas was still good. Then the next day, the 26th, I went to visit my mom and brother, and I spent some time with them, right? So, it was pretty good Christmas overall. Um... So yeah, it, it was pretty good. I would say I would label Christmas overall pretty good. And I did get some stuff. I, I got a lot of stuff actually. If you saw the vlog on the channel and, and the unboxing videos afterwards, you saw that I got more. I got a lot, probably a lot more than I needed or deserved to have. But my wife says I earned, I deserved. <laughs> Can't argue there, right? So that was my Christmas. New Year's was a whole nother story. Because at least with the Christmas, you have the thing where you might not have a big party thing, but you at least do the unwrapping of the Christmas gifts, right? With Christmas, right? That's the entire purpose and the stockings and stuff like that. With New Year's, since we don't do the fireworks, there's nothing to do really to make it more New Year's. The only thing that makes it New Year's is anticipating the end of the year, anticipating that the time changes at 12 to 2024, anticipating that. That being said, uh, I guess you can say we didn't really celebrate 
I mean, we weren't able to stay up till 12 is what I'm saying, <laughs> right? I worked Christmas, I mean, I worked New Year's Eve, got home, ate dinner. By 8.30, I was in bed and I, I was asleep. Couldn't help myself. I was tired. I had worked, been up for long hours. And, and it is what it is. It is what it is. Hey, I'm about to be a father of two. I'll be 35 later this year. I'm not in the young side of things. Maybe if I hadn't worked that day, it'd be a whole nother story. Hey, this coming year, I believe, um, New Year's Eve, I think I'll be off, right? So this coming year, when this year 2024 ends, I most likely potentially could be able to stay up because I, I'll be able to take a nap during the day or at least not be as exact. As, as exhausting from a work day. So maybe that play a huge role in it, right? So, yeah. Then on the first, I went to work, got out. And the first really, um, I don't remember. It's regular day, I guess, but, um, so that was, that was that was my holiday season. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to make it till 12. There's nothing to talk about that. However, however, I did kind of, I was so self-aware when midnight and 12 happened. I was aware when that year changed because when I was asleep, the whole fireworks from whatever was going on a block away or whatever. I can hear them that were so very loud and simultaneously of all the fireworks outside. Those people being awake, you can feel it shaking the walls and the loudness as if it were right next to the bed, right? And it was loud enough and it woke me up. But I just, I woke up and I was like, my reaction was like, oh, I guess it's midnight already. Then I just went back to sleep. That's honestly, I just went back to sleep like nothing. But yeah, I wasn't able to make it. I just, I couldn't. I couldn't. I think there's been years where I fall asleep way before um, 12. But I'm able to wake up maybe a little bit before, right? Um, so, but I guess those might have been years where I didn't have to work the next morning. Or maybe when I was working night shifts in the previous company. Um, so yeah, but bottom line, I, I didn't make it a 12. Neither did my wife. And I don't blame her, right? Because she's more tired from taking care of the child more than I do, right? Then she stays home. Um, so yeah, that's it is what it is. What did I get for Christmas? You might be wondering. Um, so let's assume you didn't watch the vlog video, right? On the vlog channel, Des Vlogs. So I got a lot of things. I don't have an exact number of gifts I got because there are that many. But I think maybe nine or ten, if I, if I had to guess, maybe more. So let's run it down. If, if, if I don't have a list or anything, but it's kind of trying to re, re, remember, right? So, um, I got a, a, a image, no, a frame of an art wall, an art wall frame. Of Sonic the Hedgehog, right? And it says, "Let's go." So there's like an art, three different images of Sonic, and I hanged it up right there on that wall, to my right, right above me here. So I can see it here in my so-called office area. 
So I got that Sonic brain because I'm a fan of Sonic the video games. Um, so yeah, got that. I got a, a, a frame of a Spider-Man. So that will be my third frame of Spider-Man because I already had one previously that I bought. Where did I get that one? I had bought one years ago. At, at home, I believe I bought that one. I don't know. Anyways, the one, I got a new one for Christmas. Um, it's not here. I put it in our bedroom by the shelves where I keep uh, my Funko Pops and other toys and stuff like that. So, I have it there. So, I got those two frames. Because um, obviously, I'm a Spider-Man fan. If it's not obvious with that in the background... <laughs> Um, what else did I get for Christmas? I got a, a whole lot of action figures. And obviously all this is from the wife and kid, right? It's from the wife. Um, what else? I got action figures of, of some wrestlers. Um, action figure of WWE superstars, um, Austin Theory. Another action figure of WWE's figure, Robert Root. Action figure, two pack of Batista and Undertaker together, kind of like a versus thing, um, based on their match at WrestleMania from the mid 2000s. Um, those action figures and uh, that came with the world title as well, the belt, the wrestling belt. Uh, teeny weeny for the figures right now. Um, those are all the WWE figures I got, I believe. Um, then I got, uh, oh yeah, the squirty um, Dr. Octopus, the villain from Spider-Man that we, um, not based on the movies, but the traditional, I uh, call it traditional, but the classic look, if you want to say classic, um, kind of looks like the animated version or the comic book version I don't remember the green but he's got the green um and he's got the entire um, robotic arms and it squirts water I think the name of the figures is called web splashers it says in the box it said on the box web splashers so it's Dr. Octopus the villain that goes against Spider-Man and you can take one of the um, robot mechanical arms, hands, whatever, robotic limbs, put in a glass of water basically and squirt out water, right? A little bit of squirt out water. So that's why it's called web splashers, right? And so I got that. Um, then I got a Sandman action figure that comes with extra limbs and stuff based on the um, No Way Home Spider Man movie. Where you see Sandman in full sand humanoid um, or CGI, right? Because the actor wasn't available for that movie. He just recorded the voice later on, I believe. Um, so yeah, I got a Sandman action figure. I think that's all the action figures I got. So how many figures did I say? Theory, Rude, The Undertaker, and Batista was a two-pack. So that counts as one set of toys octopus dr octopus and the sandman so that's five action figures so that's five gifts um the sonic frame i said the spidey frame that's seven i'm trying to think what else oh i got i got this green screen <coughs> So that's the eighth gift. I got a, a green screen so I can add special effects. I need to figure out where I'm going to hang it. Or I'm probably only going to set it up when I need to use it, right? But that's still in box. I kind of opened it a little bit to take a little peek at it. But I haven't even, you know, messed around with it or tested it or anything like that. But I got a green screen so I can do effects for videos later. So I got some pretty good stuff here in the noggin that I could possibly do with that green screen in the future. Maybe in this channel, it pr 
yeah, then this channel definitely because this is the entertainment channel. So if I do anything with that green screen, it's definitely gonna be on this channel because the other channels for vlogs and the other channels don't fit that. Right, so it'll definitely be on that cha this channel. And then I got a sound mixer that I semi um kind of understand how to do a sound mixer. So I can add sound effects on this podcast. Um, but I, I didn't use it for this video. I tested it after Christmas. Um, it was getting frustrating, right? It was getting frustrating. I didn't understand it. But here it is. Here's it, it, here it is, it's already out of the box. The thing is, I need a microphone that connects with this type of gimmick, right? And my microphone is USB. So, it doesn't function, you can't do everything completely without a microphone that's, um, whatever you call this. Like that, and I don't think they sell these type of mics anymore. It's just USBs, I believe. Could be wrong. Maybe I go to a radio track or freaking pawn shop. But I don't want to buy a microphone when I already have one. It's very unnecessary. So, yeah. If you don't have a mic, you can't use this gimmick. Well, if you don't have a, this type of mic, you can't really use it. I can use it to hear the sound effects, right? And I'll be able to record those with a sound effect. But since the microphone won't be hooked up to this, only hooked up to the laptop, then it won't record anything I'm saying and it'll be mute. So I'm still trying to figure that out. So hopefully by the next episode of my tube, I'm able to use this fully. So I can add some cheers and boos and all these sound effects, right? So, um, I think that's all I got for Christmas. So that's, I counted properly, right? Nine? It was WWE Theory Sandman. Five figures, five toys, action figures, the two frames. Green screen, the mixer, nine gifts, nine Christmas gifts, and some extra um, stuff in the stockings. Let's not forget that. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I got for Christmas, and I liked all of it. I really did. Like I said, I just gotta m figure out how to make use of that sound mixer, right? So it doesn't go to waste. And it won't go to waste. So I'll figure it out, right? I'll figure it out. So, what video plans do I have for 2024? Well, it depends. I have a lot of ideas. I don't want to give anything away. But, it's going to be fun. I can tell you that. Okay, I'll give some away. I did a blue fur episode. Uh, when mm, a little bit after Halloween, I believe, or right, I did it maybe early November. I did a blue fur episode, and that was intended to go on. I, I do have the second episode written, so I will probably just continue with that. Um, yeah, but if I don't like where it's going, I would just cut it short and end it. But I don't, I don't want to do that. I wanted to actually make it, it, since I started it already, finish it. But early last year, about March of 2023, I started a project, recording a project, but it takes a lot of um, buying a lot of props for it and stuff. And it takes time to record scene after scene, and it's... Uh, I knew it would take months to do, but I didn't know that almost a year later, I wouldn't be done with it. 
was probably because at some point I didn't spend too much time working on it anymore. So, but I do have plans for other short films like I have done in the past here on the channel. So hopefully, maybe a Barry 3 short film. Barry 3. You know what Barry is? No. Barry is a short film I did. A short horror film I did here on the channel. 2018. When I was living in a much... We were living in a much smaller place. Like a studio place. Um, then I did Barry 2. When we were living in the previous apartment. I uh, did that, what was it, two, maybe three years ago. So, yeah. Possibly that there's a Barry 3 this year. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Spook 2, maybe. I did Spook, another chore horror film. Did that several years ago when we lived in the previous apartment. Haven't done chore horror films in this apartment, so maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. So maybe Spook 2 or maybe a whole nother concept of a chore horror film. Who knows? But those are some ideas up here that I'm hoping to get done in 2024. Um, I want to do some challenges videos with my brother, but he's always tired, so hopefully I can get him to do at least one video a month, right? So hopefully, just to add some some different faces to the channel and to have someone I can play off of uh, and make it more entertaining and not just a one person show all the time. But I want to continue this video podcast type of video. Hopefully I have more to say through as the days go by. Right? So I want to continue this. Because I do like this. And it's fairly easy just talking to myself and stuff. But hopefully I can make it more entertaining. If I could get the goddamn sound mixer to work the way it should. Or yeah. So those are some plans, or not really plans, but some sort of an idea of what to do for 2024 on this channel, right? On this channel. Meanwhile, you can check out my other channels. The vlog channel, Des Vlogs. You'll see my vlogs there. You can see everything I talked about as far as my Christmas gifts. Recent video shows where I displayed the sonic frame right after unwrapping it. Um, and there's more to come. Like I said, updates on the new coming child will be on the vlog channel because it's about vlogs, and maybe from t uh, here on this podcast as well, right? Um, for the toys that I unbox, I do toy wrestling entertainment, not just wrestling figures, any characters in the ring fighting for belts, storylines, drama, whatever, playing with those toys in the channel toy wrestling entertainment. Um, for paranormal sketches or paranormal entertainment videos, it's a dead paranormal. That's the channel. Okay. So that's all for today. Thanks for listening. If you made it this far, then uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks for listening. Until next time, take care. Good night, y'all, and we'll see you later.